Hey everyone, long time no see. I've been extremely busy and I apologize for the break in my posts and videos. I've also removed a lot of older videos. There's a lot of baggage with some of those videos and I was trying to clean up my portfolio of projects. And I thought I'd come back to the, to the game of making videos here and kind of focusing on building fun projects. And I was actually looking through some of my older code that I had written, and I thought this would make a really great um, little mini project for someone that's learning Python. So um, this project is actually uh, a very useful project for learning, and it's also gonna give you something that's really fun, and it's gonna be impressive. It's gonna impress your friends or your kids. You'll be able to actually build these Lego kits when we're done. Let me show you what the project is. Essentially, the project starts with you know a picture like a normal image like this one of the Lion King and we want to create a mosaic that we could actually build out of Legos real Lego pieces so the software let me run the software with the Lion King let me make sure the Lion King is in the test function here yeah so and we'll talk through all this code don't be intimidated and there's actually a lot of extra junk in here this is an old file that I haven't looked at for a long time and I'm actually just going to rewrite this thing in a clean way. Uh, but let me run this and it'll output this test.jpg here. So this is the original image. It's, it's popping that open in a window and we'll learn how to do that. I'm going to hit a key and it disappears and it creates my Lego mosaic. So here's my test.jpg and you can see that it's a pretty small size image because with you know you can think of each Lego as a pixel essentially. And you can see when it's when it's small size, it looks pretty awesome. It looks pretty close to the original. You know, here's the original image, like looking at it at a distance. And here is the test.jpg, almost the same. Really, really cool. And if you zoom in real close, you know, you can see that the pig dude, he's really hard to make out. The bird, you can barely make it out. It's pretty neat. And these are all made with real Lego blocks uh, colors, which I'll, I'll go into. But again, if you zoom out, you get that nice mosaic effect. And if you hang these on your wall, you can get some really cool art for your house. Um, I've actually built some of these with pictures of my kids and stuff, and they come out awesome. Um, let me show you one more. Let's do a Super Mario one just for fun. So if I change this to Mario.jpg and run it, that's my Mario original. Let me go back to my output file. So here's my output. It looks, you know, other than this uh, color here, so it has trouble with some of these gradients because again, we're dealing with a limited palette, which we'll talk about. So some of the very fine gradients um, can become uh, more obvious. You can see this kind of goes from a gray to a blue. But if you look at Mario, I mean, it looks almost identical. It's pretty cool. Even when you zoom in, the Mario one comes out awesome. So um, because we're working with a limited palette, uh, and I'm going to go into this uh, in the next section, um, this palette basically is what we're stuck working with if we want to use the standard Lego bricks. And uh, essentially, we could build this, this tool is uh, able to be used with any palette. So I can, let me comment out a whole bunch of the palettes. So let's say I only had a few Lego bricks, but I had a lot of them. I could still run this code, I could still run it with those limited bricks set, and this is what I get. And it's actually still pretty dang good, I'm pretty surprised. So, because we happen to still have some red, some blues, and some dark colors, and some light colors, we were still able to make that even with only one, two, three, four, five. So you can see we had our white, yellow, red, blue, yellow, bl uh, bright yellow, black, and medium, blue. So when we got rid of all these other palette colors, we still were able to make a pretty good image. And if I get rid of everything except black and white, uh, this would be what's called a binary image. So it's different than a grayscale. Grayscale image has just bl has you know black, white, and gray in between to give you that shading effect. A black and white image with just black and white pixels, pure pixels, we call that a binary image. And um, let's see how that looks. I really have no idea how this is going to come out, so it'll be kind of interesting. Okay, pretty cool. So it, again, at a distance, if you hang this on your wall, it, it looks pretty awesome. You get this black and white binary image. And when you zoom in, you know, you get that nice Lego effect. Um, so this is what's called a binary image. You only have black and you only have white. 
Um, so, you know, you don't get that full grayscale effect. Of course, we could go in here and add um, gray. So if we wanted to find gray Lego blocks and bring them back in and rerun this, for example, again, I don't know how this is going to come out. There you go. Now you get more of a grayscale effect from the Lego blocks. So the point I'm trying to make is that this tool, when we're done, you'll be able to customize this and do whatever you want with it. If you have uh, custom Lego sets, you'll be able to program those in. If you wanna work with the standard Lego library, um, that's what I'm using here. This is the standard Lego um, uh, block color set that's available today as of 2023. Now in the past, when I was a kid, Lego had different colors. They've retired some, they've added some. So this is the current kit that you can pull right off the website. And Lego actually publishes each color each color has a number, so these are the official Lego numbers, 1, 5, 21. So they might have retired for, you know, 2, 3, 4. But if you happen to have a very old set of Legos and you have tons of, tons of them and you want to do something cool with them, you could add those colors in here just by simply adding colors. So we'll talk about that. And then these values here on the right-hand side, these represent the RGB value equivalents of those Lego colors, which I was able to kind of scrape from the Lego website. Again, you'll be able to customize this. So that's the project in a nutshell. We're going to learn um, quite a bit. If you're new to Python, this is a great project because we're not going to be doing anything incredibly difficult. Uh, we are going to be working with um, you know, basic data, assigning values, creating functions, um, and we're going to also be working with some packages. And the packages are not extremely uh, difficult to use in this case. We won't be working with a lot of difficult uh, things but it'll get you used to importing packages, installing packages, importing them, calling um, functions from those packages that we need, um, like CV2, which is an image library. And, um, and also, hopefully, you'll learn a little bit about how to problem solve. So if you're coming into this and you're like, wow, I have no idea. I could never program something like that. You know, that's incredibly complicated. Um, by the time you're done with this, you'll realize it's not extremely complicated. And it'll help you kind of think about how would you solve this problem? You know, how can you use Python or programming languages to solve a problem? Like, I want to create a Lego set. So I'm going to end this introduction video, and I hope you're excited about building this project. It shouldn't take too long. Um, you can see that we have about 180 lines of code. Um, again, I'm going to, this is very old. I'm going to refactor this. We're going to rewrite all this together live. Um, and it's probably going to be a lot shorter. Um, a big chunk of the code is just, you know, having the, the colors in there. Um, so really, you can do this with a lot. We, you know, I have a lot of commented out code. So really, we can do this with a relatively small amount of code. Um, so I look forward to building this with you. It's going to be a fun project, and I'll see you in the next video.